Hey my friends, nothing excites me more than hearing about your goals, but nothing pains me more than hearing about your struggles to achieve them. So we're gonna talk about some of the reasons you may be struggling with your goals and hopefully find a few solutions that'll get you back on the right track. Hello, my meeting and event prof and hotel prof friends. We're talking about goal setting today, uh, in particular, what we do when we're struggling to meet our goals. Um, friends, it is an honor when people share with me their goals journey and listening to the things they want to achieve in their life. I get so excited, maybe even more excited than you when you tell them to me. Um, but it also pains me deeply when I hear that you're struggling to meet your goals. I know what that feels like. I do it every single day when I fail to, to meet the goals on my list. And of course, every single quarter and every single year when I fall short of expectations. Now, at some point, we should probably talk about when we need to be less hard on ourselves when we don't meet our goals. But today is really about encouraging you, I hope, encouraging you to get over those struggles and kind of put you back on the right track when moving towards your goals. Um, and most importantly, I think if you're, if you're struggling to meet your goals and it's because you're feeling alone and you don't have a support system, please know you have a place to hang out. I love hearing about people's goals journeys and that's what this blog is about. Hopefully is encouraging you uh, to step out and uh, attack your goals with vigor. So know that there are other people like you out there and we're here to support you and here to encourage you um, in pursuit of your goals. Okay, so what are some things that we can do to help get you back on the right track towards achieving some of your goals? Uh, probably one of the easiest things we can do is set aside time to actually attack your goals. So we're gonna put set aside times in your calendar, time blocks per se, um, where all you focus on is that goal. So you're gonna turn off all your distractions, your email and your phone, and you're gonna focus solely on the next steps that are required to achieve that goal. Uh, so that's an easy one. Just make sure you have a calendar, make sure you stick to it and put those goals in your calendar. Another thing that you can try, especially if it's a very, very large goal, is to start to break it down a bit. Perhaps the goal was a bit big and a bit audacious to begin with, and you were struggling even to get started because it just seemed like too, too much. Um, no goal is too lofty, but perhaps breaking it down into smaller, almost digestible steps, you're able to make small incremental improvements and incremental progress towards the goal. So take a look at that lofty goal, break it down, and again, time chunk that into your calendar, and now you've got yourself set towards achieving that goal. Another pitfall that we run into is we just have way too many goals to focus on, and maybe they're not all big, hairy, audacious goals, um, but there's a lot of goals on our plate and I love people who have a ton of goals. Um, it, it's what makes my world turn is when I have something to look forward to and something to plan for. So if you're an overachieving goal setter, um, you're just one of my favorite people as well. But guess what peeps, sometimes we set too many goals and now we're running out of time, we're running out of energy to actually achieve them. Um, so take a look at your roster of goals and pick and choose a few that you can focus on right now and then a few that you can focus on in three, six or 12 months time, um, even later if, if it's something that you can push off for a year's time. And that way we can focus on some one project at a time, give it our all, not be distracted with all the other goals in front of us and just work on achieving that one goal before we jump on to the next. Another thing that might help you with your goals is know what part of the process of achieving the goal that you're going to be really, really good at and look at the places that you're not as strong at. So what you want to do is focus on your strengths and uh, use your strengths to achieve the parts of the goal that you can achieve. And maybe there's potential to even partner with someone who has all other strengths compared to yours that can fill in the gaps with parts of the goal that maybe you're not as strong at. So keep in your strengths zone and try not to worry too, too much about the things that you're not good at. 
Um, but stay in your strength zone, learn about the skills that you want to learn about, and perhaps leave some of the, the goal that just isn't in your wheelhouse. Leave it to someone to help you kind of backfill those parts of the goal. And finally, know that no matter what your goal is, no matter how big or how small, you are not alone. If you have a circle around you that may not be as supportive as you had hoped when setting these big, hairy, audacious goals, know that you have a community here. Um, we're here to help you uh, meet your goals, but there's other communities as well. There's tons of different Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups and other associations out there that provide this kind of community support and resources to help you achieve your dreams. So know that you're not alone and that there's lots of people out there rooting for you. I hope you found these tips helpful. I also have um, a fairly robust business plan template. And if you're looking for a business plan to kind of kickstart your goals, I invite you to download it over at my website at leannecalderwood.com and get started filling out your goals on your business plan today. While you're over there, make sure you sign up for my newsletter and that way you won't miss any other resources that I put out to the community. You'll be the first to know. Good luck with your goals this week, this month, this quarter. I'm excited to hear how you're doing with them. And again, if you're struggling to achieve your goals, you're not alone. Tomorrow's a new day. You can get back on that horse and start uh, working towards your goals. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.